Hi, and welcome to our presentation of the paper Sparrow Play, a suite of breeding games for spirometry. There were many people involved in the last two years to set up and execute this research. Asthma is a chronic airway disease. With the help of tests, children with asthma can be monitored regularly. Spirometry is such a test. Unfortunately, performing this test does need a specific execution. This execution starts with maximal inspiration, followed by maximal forced expiration, and is then continued into a complete exhalation. Doing this correctly, especially for children, is normally achieved with appropriate medical supervision. However, as we want to monitor over time, you also want to measure this in a home setting. In our previous studies, we saw that at the home, the number of correctly blown spirometry tests had room for improvement. We did find multi-target incentives already used in related work, where they not only measure the peak flow, but also inhalation and full exhalation. A good example of this is this elephant metaphor, in which the bucket is emptied upon full inhalation and its trunk goes up. Then when forcefully exhaled, the three flowers on the far right appear, and then based on the continuous and full exhalation, the other seven flowers appear. Instead of offering one such metaphor to keep it interesting and fitting for a varied group of children, we wanted to offer several games. Based on our previous work, this fits what we'd like to call a suite of games approach. Besides working in a team with medical experts, we also work together closely with children. Furthermore, two high school two students also helped us with their ideas. Building strongly related work at the core of our process were four co-design sessions. We did these at a daycare center, with which we have a recurring arrangement. In the first two sessions, we focused on metaphor generation. This resulted in 56 additional metaphors. Subsequently, after these sessions, we filtered a set of about 100 ideas. We informally coded the ideas with recurring topics and then picked four suitable looking metaphors of the most filled topics. In order to further filter the 24 remaining metaphors to about 12 metaphors to implement, we had both medical experts filling in a survey and we let six children rate the metaphors individually using card based ranking according to their triggered level of fun, blowing properly and want to do again. In the fourth session, we looked at ideas for feedback on certain errors. Three metaphors, a diver, a car, and a popping balloon, were then first implemented and could be tested on the tablet. In total, we had 11 metaphors, also including fishing, playing soccer, bowling, a dog growing hair, a dragon breathing fire, a hurdle race, and a dandelion and tides of a beach. We then did a user test at the hospital with 30 children with asthma, who performed a spirometry test with a responsive metaphor. We then showed them two GIFs of the other metaphors. All of the three were rated on a scale from 0 to 10. Using drawings, all 11 metaphors were then shown and explained, after which we asked which three they would like to prefer to play, if they could, and which three they would dislike. Regarding preference, we saw that the dragon and soccer were the favorites, whereas the dark growing hair and the dandelion were disliked more often. When looking at the ratings from the 20 children that gave a 10, only 14 of them also in indicated that game when they were asked which they would like to prefer to play. This might indicate there is a difference between fun and wanting to again, although they are likely to be strongly correlated. Playing a game might also influence whether they prefer to play that metaphor, as the children rated the games they played lower. Perhaps this is an indication that children like the diversity in the kind of games that they could play. There were also quite some differences in the ratings they gave between the three rated metaphors. Both this difference in ratings, as well as the preference to not play what they already played, strengthens the idea that a suite of games approach might be suitable in such a setting. However, it can also be due to the expectations being higher than actual gameplay. For instance, some children were frustrated with this implementation of the balloon metaphor. From the body of related work with metaphors and biofeedback, we know the importance of a tight link to the real world. Some metaphors seem to achieve this, including the beach metaphor, and based on this participant's response, also the diving metaphor. However, for others, this seems farther away from this embodied fit. We also have suggestions for several elements about reaching metaphor goals in spirometry. The first is to provide incentives that can also reward going beyond 100% expected failure, such as in the car metaphor, where one can go beyond crossing the targeted finish line. Secondly, when providing feedback, consider to go beyond binary feedback. Whereas in the soccer metaphor we only added particles and a cheering audience, instead in the car metaphor we had more variable feedback on the peak flow in the form of getting nicer cars. At the same time, in both cases it seems that not reaching the metaphor can still be perceived as an unwanted punishment. When a child did not fully inhale into the device or when it was not measured as such, it is still valuable to be able to measure the full exhalation. Thus the visualization should also allow for separated feedback. Furthermore, the inhalation animation, even if cut short, should be followable directly by exhalation. For example, in our diving metaphor, it's possible to jump halfway across the springboard. 
Some metaphors did not clearly indicate how much is expected. So we added example GIFs in the menu, but more importantly, as a quick fix, we also added progress bars indicating 100%. Recently, we implemented a tailored feature release system in which we reward executing a number of tests with unlocking a metaphor that best addresses the recurring type of error made by this player. We also improved the art style, where we were inspired by contemporary popular cartoons and have a first implementation of all 11 metaphors. Hopefully parts of the project could also be relevant beyond this parametry context. We of course think that a suite of games approach deserves additional emphasis and provides various opportunities. We also see benefits in certain elements of how we can include children in a health-focused design process, and especially compared also to other breath-controlled games, in both directions it would be interesting to compare the applicability of the found requirements and guidelines. With that, I would like to end the presentation. Thank you for watching. We also like to thank the many, many other people that were involved.